Hello, I'm Brother Steve Castellano, a Marian of the Immaculate Conception, and this is Saints in Focus. St. Mary Magdalene was one of the close disciples of Jesus during his earthly ministry. After having seven demons cast out of her, she followed him as he preached the kingdom of God. She was present at the Lord's crucifixion, and she was one of the first to encounter Jesus risen from the grave, as recorded in chapter 20 of John's Gospel. Some traditions also identify her as the forgiven woman who anointed Jesus' feet at the Pharisee's house, recorded in Luke chapter 7. Some also identify her as the sister of Martha and Lazarus. We can certainly say that Mary was someone who was bound in the grip of evil and then, after encountering Jesus, was set free. She became an apostle. In fact, in our Catholic tradition, she is known as the Apostle of the Apostles because she was the one who proclaimed the resurrection of Jesus to the 11 on Easter morning. Being touched by God's grace and mercy, she became a witness to the transforming power of Christ's love. Pope Francis, during his pontificate, has recognized the great example of St. Mary Magdalene. In 2016, during the extraordinary Jubilee of Mercy, he raised her liturgical celebration on July 22nd from a memorial to a feast. This move from the Pope highlighted the magnificence of God's mercy, that God can raise up anyone from a place of misery and can turn that person into an evangelist. St. Mary Magdalene was deeply touched by God's love and as a result, spent the rest of her life proclaiming that love to all around her. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us.